Today we're going to talk about how to clean and or replace your EGR valve if necessary. So your EGR valve is mounted below your um, throttle body and intake. It is this part right back here. So that, um, I'm touching on my finger right there. It's kind of uh, cylindrical, <laughs> um, if that's a word. And uh, let me see if I can get this out of the way so you can see a little better. Yeah, it's back there. So basically, two bolts hold it together or hold it on. Um, that's one. There, there you go. You can see both the bolts right there. And it has one small. Where is it at? I've already taken it off, but it's just a press on vacuum line um, right there huh. you almost saw it it's a little uh, there you, go. you can kind of see it it's a little uh, just tiny little uh, vacuum line it just pulls right off and puts back on so we're going to uh, Take those bolts out right now to get get that sucker out of there. All right, we're um, going to loosen these uh, bolts out now. They're 12 millimeter, is what they are. Um, and of course, that's too long. But yeah, so we're loosening these out right now. I've already broke them loose, so I'm just going to get them to where they're hand loose and take them all the way out. Alright, now that we got our uh, two bolts out, this is the EGR valve. As you can see, that vacuum line just plugs right on the top there. It's got the uh, in, 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 uh, in where it intakes the exhaust and exhausts the exhaust in and out of the ports there and we're just going to clean those ports out um, there's some carbon buildup on this one it's not too bad but um we're going to clean the ports out and uh so we'll take a, a, a wire brush and some screwdrivers and scrape out some of that carbon buildup and uh, then we'll also spray some carb cleaner in it also, if you were replacing your EGR valve, this is where you would just put the new valve on. And if you're having a, co a code thrown that says your EGR valve's bad, you uh, more than likely can just clean it. Um, that's the first step, what we're going to show you to do. Um, but you would want to disconnect your battery at this point to reset the computer so that the code doesn't come back. And uh, if it did come back, then you would know that your EGR valve needs to be replaced instead of just cleaned. Uh, but usually they can just be cleaned. Um, I don't have any codes thrown, so I'm going to leave my battery hooked up. Alright, so I'm going to use this uh, scraper um, hook, actually. I've got a few of them. I'm just going to clean out, clean these ports out. As you can see, there's carbon buildup around the edges. I'm going to clean off the face of this without gouging into the metal, obviously. Um, but yeah, that's basically, basically your first step. You want to clean all this out and try to let it fall out of there. Wow, look at all that that just came out, that, that little bit that I did. But try to let it fall out of there, and then we'll go to stage two of uh, cleaning with chemicals. I didn't realize this, but this uh, metal gasket was actually stuck to the EGR valve. Um, I just realized it. So um, we'll want to clean that up good. Mine's still in good shape, so I'm going to reuse it. But if yours is in rough shape, you'll want to replace it. All right, now that we've scrubbed it down pretty good, we're going to take some uh, carbon choke cleaner and spray it in there real good and clean out all the uh, everything that's left. As you can see, it just kind of melts that carbon away. And uh, you want to do this until it's good and clean. 
Um, I like to hold it upside down while I'm doing it. It's hard to do, hard to do with one hand. Um, so I'm gonna turn the camera off, but hold it upside down, spray it out real good, make sure it's good and clean. And uh, then we'll go from there. We'll spray it in the other ports as well from there. You also want to spray it in this uh, little bleeder port right here, the uh, port that the vacuum line hooks up to. And let it sit in there for a little while. If you have a straw, you could spray it in there a little more accurately. But let it sit in there and eat up that uh, carbon for a little while and then dump it out and do it a couple more times. Alright, let it uh, dry out for a minute and we'll go spray the um, inside where the... Uh, I don't know if you can see that. Put the flashlight on it here. We'll spray the inside where... There we go. Spray the where it actually connects onto the uh, exhaust manifold right there. Spray all those in and uh, try to clean that up a little bit. You want to make sure you clean these uh, surfaces off real good and on the uh, car itself. And then uh, put the gasket back on here. Put the gasket back on there. Put the bolts back through the back side of this thing. I won't be able to do this one-handed, but essentially you put the uh, put the bolts through. Then you put the gasket on there. And then you uh, fish it back through, put it back, mount it back on the car. Um, which, once again, that's that's where it mounts right there. And you'll want to clean that surface off um, real good. I need to clean it off a little more, but clean that off and screw the bolts back in. Hook your vacuum line back up to the top prong on it, and you'll be good to go. Um, you'll put the uh, reconnect the battery. Um, and of course, you know, your car runs through a uh, startup cycle. Um, so it'll take a little while for it to, take a little while for it to um, uh, relearn the fuel curve and all that. It may run a little rough um, there at the beginning, but you know, a couple hundred miles, it should be worked out. So that's all there is to it. And there she is purring like a sex kitten. So your uh, idling issues will probably be helped out a lot with um, this EGR fix and um, should be good to hit the road.